All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're in the uh, GCMS computer here, and we're going to go to um, our data analysis software. This is the data analysis software. And uh, with the data analysis software here, we're going to identify whatever file we want to ana analyze. And the first one we'll do is this Tomato short chain. So I'll double click on it, and it'll bring up <clears throat> the file name here. This is the chromatogram. And then I click right here and make sure that this says what it says right here, NIST 08, right, to this path. And we say OK. And then I click right here and say OK. And then it's going to generate a report. And here's the report that it generated. Now I have to highlight the whole thing to get all this information into Excel so that I can transfer it a little bit better or manipulate it a little bit better. So I right click, copy, or control C. And then I go into um, Excel file here. And I need, want to um, go into a, open a new file. So I'll go new workbook here. And then I right click and paste the data somewhere. Now, all this data is in one column, but none of these are separate cells. So we need to convert the text to column with this text to column function. And I go to text to column, make sure it says fixed width. And then I say next. And then I can go over to the end here and I can scroll down a little bit to see why I'm doing this. But what I need to do is I need to make sure that this line goes right up against the qual factor like that because some of these numbers are bigger. So the qual factors get scooted over. So when I'm done doing that, I can say finish. And now all of these data are in their own cells. So this is the CAS number of the chemical. This column right here is the chemical's name, and this is the qual factor. And those are the things we're really after. So if we highlight these four rows here and then say sort, which is in the data ribbon also. We say sort, and we can sort by column H, which is the qual factor here, and we can go largest to smallest, so it'll bring the most likely components in our material up for top there. All right. Uh, we can get rid of the rest of these columns now. We don't need these anymore. And uh, I'll, I'm going to actually in insert some to kind of move it towards the middle here. And we can also get rid of uh, these, whoops, these rows here that aren't anything so I'm going to say delete there all right and I can double click right here and it'll expand this so I can see the whole name of my chemicals all right and um, I can go down here and I really am not interested in chemicals that have a qual factor less than 50 at right now at this point so this right here is the one with less than 50 so I can scroll all the way to the bottom here and I can uh, push shift and then click right there. And so now it's selecting all those extra rows that I don't need. Shift and you push what? I just clicked where I wanted to oh. be. So I the shift, I clicked up here. Uh -huh. And then I push shift, hold down shift. Right. And then I select down below. And so it clicks, selects that whole region. Oh, I okay. got And then I can right click here and I can say delete. So then I have a nice number of uh, 61 chemicals that I have to deal with here. Does that make sense? Mm. 61, uh, 61 chemicals that have a qual factor of 50 or above. How, how do you know it's 61? Oh, because uh, I just saw this number right over here. Yeah. Side, right? Now, um, I don't need repeats, right? So I can highlight this data again and sort it again. But this time, I'll sort it by uh, I, which is the chemical name. And so it'll put them in order of the different chemicals that we have. And I can get rid of some of these here. I guess I'm a little bit, I'm just going to scoot it over a little bit here. I can get rid of any ones that are repeating here over and over and over. Does that make sense? So I'll right click on that and say delete. All right, because all those are the same chemical. Uh, you can also tell if they're the same chemical because these two names right here, numbers will be the same. This number here, this row right here, is the library number. And we really don't need that number, so we can delete that. So now we have the name, the CAS number, and the qual factor. And those are all important things. So here's a couple more repeats. I'm deleting those. Uh, these ones, four different repeats here. So I can delete the three of them. 
Does that make sense? And then we have one repeat there, so I can delete that one. This one is a repeat. Does that make sense? See what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm just going through and looking for ones that have the same number. Oh, here's one methylene chloride. That was the chemical that we used to, um, that we dissolved the stuff in. Does that make sense? Yeah. So. Here's another repeat. Here's a couple more repeats, right? Here's one more repeat. All right, and that looks like it, right? So a total of 26 different chemicals. What's the very last chemical? This thing, I don't know. I don't know. It, it cut off the name. We didn't get the name. Oh, okay. To really, really find out, you take this number here, right. and you copy it, and we go to Google here, and uh, we paste it into Google. So I think it's a math problem. <laughs> so let's write chemical. Oops. Let's try CAS number. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. A way we could find out is to take this value, Control C, copy it, and then go back to this report, and then in this report, click Control F. Does this have a search function? That one doesn't have a search function, does it? Let me just try to scroll through here and see if we can find what that 22222 thing is. Well, there it is. Where? Oh, here Almost it is, up here. Top, yeah. So, this is the full name of it, right? Oh. Let's see, where is the full name? Yeah, that's its name there. So if we take that name and go to Google. Let's see if we can find anything. Come on in. You got some movies? Yeah. yeah. Awesome. So that's what it is. Wow. Crazy business. <laughs> well, hard to say if it's really. So ethanol. Uh, that means you want to catch up the end there. That's just this little. That means just this little part right there. I see. That's an interesting chemical, though. I see. Yeah, it's hard to say if that's really legitimate. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. So I'm going to... Uh